Welcome everyone to another episode of Atomic Rooster Gaming. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, today I am very excited to be starting a playthrough of Mass Effect 2, a game that I've been waiting a long time to play, and I am really excited to get this going here. So, obviously Mass Effect 2 is the follow-up to Mass Effect 1, it's a sci-fi role-playing game. Mass Effect 2 was dropped in 2010. It is developed by BioWare and published by EA. So here we go, starting a new game. And so with this, it lets you continue your character from the last game. It's pretty cool. I am playing on the Legendary Edition. So you can import your Mass Effect 1 character, all the stats and everything that come from it. And my save was level 53 from Mass Effect 1, which I just played through, I think maybe six months ago. I've probably finished playing through it. Normal, squad only, level up, yep. Subtitles off. Okay, okay. This just goes and kind of gives you a synapsis of the character from the last game and I think you can change it if you wanted if you wanted to like move it and change it and whatnot so I was a soldier I did the Paragon quest line uh, Rex lived uh, Caden did not Caden had to push the button and blow up the bomb uh, on the council I spared I spared the council saved them and I put on Captain Anderson for the council seat. And here we go. So if you are enjoying the content, like in the videos, please like the, like the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I am running a special this month. Uh, free subscriptions. So if you click the subscribe button down there at the bottom, it won't cost you anything. Just for the rest of this month only. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. That sounds like the voice of uh, Martin Sheen. One month after the devastating death attacks on the Citadel, the Galactic community struggles to rebuild the Alliance of Leave Victory with the sacrifice of the Savage Citadel Council and the membership of the prestigious group. Organic civilization, every 50,000 years of return to quell rumors, the Council has sent Commander Shepard into Normandy to wipe them out. <coughs> so at the end of the last game, uh, it was the Reapers that were coming. Uh, to wipe out humanity, and we managed to fight them off. So now we're looking for any sign of them. Disengaging so MTL us that drives. They're here, I guess. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. Because they were thought to be extinct. We're wasting our time. At least vanished. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to him. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like uh, a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Looks pretty big. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Press 
Wesley! Uh, kinetic barriers down! Multiple hull breaches! Weapons offline! Somebody get that fire out! Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. Don't be stupid. The Normandy's dead. Just like us, we don't get the hell out of here. No, we just have to... Oh, no. They're right. Uh -oh. They're coming around for another attack.
that's a hell of a way to go. Mass Effect Genesis is an interactive comic that summarizes the events of Mass Effect 1. No, I'm good. I remember pretty well what I did. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Lazarus, nice. Back from the dead. face soldier infiltrator cloaking themselves that's cool going to do soldier because that's what I was before. I'd like to continue through that. On the monitor, something's wrong. It's reacting to outside stimuli. Something's Showing wrong. Showing an awareness yeah. of its surroundings. I was dead, floating in My space. God, Miranda, I think he's waking up. He woke me up. Damn it, Wilson. He's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. <sighs> Scout's pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another go. Now. <sighs> Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Wake up, Commander. Shepard, do you hear me? Get out of that bed now. This facility is under attack. Shepard, your scars aren't healed, but I need you to get moving. This facility is under attack. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip. Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off.
kind of messed up. He doesn't even get any like break. He just kind of jump right into the next fight. But it does look good though. been spotted. You were still a work in progress. I just woke up. You probably know more than I do. Right, sorry about that. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. It's your station, Jacob. I'll follow you. First step, let's finish off these metal bastards. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. We're falling back. Ready to get the hell off this station? Let's do it. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we... Check. Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell... Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Let's, Let's get out of here. You bet. We can get into the service tunnels through this door.
bailed out or get out situation there. We've all been there. Hostiles detected. Damn it, Wilson. This room is crawling with mess. The whole station is crawling with mess. But I'm doing the best I can. Excuse me. <laughs> Wilson, find us another route out of here. Preferably one that doesn't lead straight into an enemy squad. Just keep moving toward the control room. Don't get pinned down. I'll see what I can do. Don't get pinned down, Craig. Just gotta remember that. They found me. Help! Wilson, where are you? Server room B! Hurry! They're out of control! Up those stairs, Shepard! You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <clears throat> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Going, buddy. Hold space bar to access your command menu. Whoop. Okay, so let's see what we got. My choices for moves are disruptor ammo, rips through shields and shreds synthetic targets. I have adrenaline rush, hyper accelerates your reflexes, giving you time to line up the perfect shot. And unity revives any wounded fallen squad member. Uh, Jacob has incendiary ammo and pole, which levitates people, picks them up, and brings them to their thing. Okay, we're gonna go with Unity. And Wilson's hurt back. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now. Hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mix, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot! How do you explain that? I don't trust anybody yet. You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe, then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Ah, uh, she's definitely not a traitor. But she tried to help me. Then why did you wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few... That guy's shady shit. We can overload the computers to clear a path to the shuttles. Okay, so that's got overload. Left mouse button overload, massive energy blast, overpower shields and synthetic enemies. That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, so I got Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project, the program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. That sounds familiar. 
I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. The elusive man? Alright, fine, let's go. Well, if I won't get any more answers here, let's get moving. It's not much farther to the shuttle bay. Through here. We're almost at the. Miranda, but you are. Oh, damn. Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. I knew he was lying. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. He Some people are far too trusting out. to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Yeah. Where are we? Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. Some might have survived. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. 
Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Jeez. Where are we going? Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. The elusive man? And if I don't come along? I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. Lazarus Project? You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. Two years? Why? What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. The elusive man? Can you be more, like, on the nose? All right, I've had go. enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Damn, I'm down for two years. The graphics look amazing. Lip syncing's pretty good. Gameplay's okay. The controls are different, though. Like, to be such a continuing story and everything where you can import your character. Before you meet else, with the elusive the man, we need to ask a few game. questions to evaluate your bit, condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Two years? Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted, and you survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Do you remember that? It was painful. I lost a lot of friends that day. Going through something like that changes you. It can break you, if you let it. I read the report. Fifty Marines died on a coups. You were the only one who lived. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeyer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? It was a hard choice. I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. Well, that looks really cool. It's pretty bright. It's gonna stand out. Talk to the elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Alright, well, I am gonna call this episode long enough. Uh, if you are still watching, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Uh, please like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, tell me where you're watching from, what city, what state, um, tell me what game you are currently playing, I would love to hear from you. Um, but anyway, this is the Atomic Rooster, and I am signing off, until next time, have a good night.